Okay, folks. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about three products that you will probably not know about or have ever been exposed to and not know the reason why you probably want them. Okay, I'm going to explain that one. Now, you've gone down to the store and you've bought your $75 million lure or also your soft plastics or something like that. But what you're having a problem dealing with is the corrosive nature of salt water and its effects not only on metal but also on the plastics, on the shine of your plastics, and a few other things. So what we're going to do today, or what I'm going to try and do today, is show you ways to beat that right out of the box. As soon as you take your lures out of the box, or you get new hooks to put on your lures, there are products that you probably haven't heard of, but will really enjoy using, and I'll show you why. And they're very versatile products. One of them is the CRC food grade silicone. Okay, and you're, and you're going to be like, okay, well, food grade silicone, what's that? Well, what it is, is a silicone sealant lubricant. It, it does a couple things. It seals and it lubricates. And it will preserve a lot of things. It creates a water-resistant barrier. And if you guys see a big old green spider walk across the screen, it's really not huge. It's a little tiny thing, just, you know, just sitting on the camera. Anyway, now, you have your food-grade silicone. The reason why, and by the way, the reason why you want food-grade is, is because of all the other solvents and things like that, they're going to put a, a taste to your lure, whether it be a soft plastic or it be this hard bait here, or your hooks, or whatever. Because what I like to do, and it's helped me preserve a lot of things, and I'll show you the different things that it preserves, and I'll show you how to use them. First, you get your Nitrol, nitrol gloves here. Protect your hands from soaking up a bunch of silicone or the other Teflon lubricants that I'm going to show you all about. Okay, now you put your gloves. Oh, whoop! Put your gloves on and try to. Thank God I'm not a doctor. But you take it. Take your food grade silicone and you point away from your face and you spray your lures and your hooks the healthy coat of it and then you take this and you set it down someplace hang it would be preferable but since you guys are sitting right here and now this food grade stuff, by the way, doesn't have the types of solvents in it that are going to eat your paint or destroy your plastic or whatever. And what it's going to do is create a waterproof barrier so your soft plastics don't soak up that water. Let's say you're out fishing or whatever and you get water in your boat or water in your box or it starts raining or whatever. When you spray this silicone, basically sealant, you know, lubricant, multi-purpose thing, whatever, lubricates, waterproofs, protects, etc. So, you know, it says it right here on the, on the label, right there in little black letters. And that's what it does. It does that. CRC is a fine company that makes fine products. And I'll give it another, whoop, I'll give it another spray, but I'm having issues with the top. And I'll give it another spray. Okay. Now that's going to sit 
could hang it from something or whatever, but, you know, I've already sprayed it, so. I've had that lure for a very, very long time. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you something else that it does. Now, let's say you've gone down to the store and you got a shiny reel and you wanna keep it shiny. And you wanna keep all that stuff on there. Well, salt water sometimes gets under. These are made of a, a cast aluminum most of the time, or they're made of a cheap plastic, whatever. But let's just say you want to keep your things pretty. You take your silicone lubricant, seal it, you spray it all over, all over. Right on your little roller bearing and everything too. Why? Because it's a lubricant also. A lot of times guys don't pay attention to a simple thing. If you're using monofilament or even braided line, if this roller bearing right here on your spinning reel gets messed up or whatever, locked up, you whoop, I'm back with that. Now Okay, this is hard to reel. By the way, I chose this on purpose and I kind of gummed it up so I can show you the next couple of products. But what I like to do with the rod itself to keep it from getting all that junk all over it, you know, your salt water, your corrosion. Let's say you have even aluminum insert eyes here and you want to preserve them right out of the box. And you should do this right out of the box before you use it. But you go like this. Spray your little Shakespeare rod and your and your eyes. The decent coating of this stuff. Sit here and you go, well, it's about time we maintained our stuff. Because I mean I don't know if you've had your eyes rust out of your your thing or or whatever but you know there's there's little places that just don't get filled up and I'm gonna stop using that darn sprayer thing because we're gonna get a better di diverse spraying and you spray it down in all of the little places that your epoxy isn't filling you know and you spray your eyes like that Spray the whole thing if you want to. Really, it's only for me. It's only necessary to spray the eyes, and you do it every once in a while because you're gonna, you know, wipe it down. I mean, like you're gonna rub it on stuff and you're gonna wipe it down, and you're gonna do all sorts of crazy stuff to it. Because fishing, sometimes you just beat it up. Another thing that this is gonna do for you is lubricate this ring right here like your porcelain ring and all that other stuff it doesn't hurt to have a lubricant on here to help you it'll improve your castability just a little bit little tiny tiny things that are gonna make you perform a little bit better get a further cast make your things last a little longer this is I think $30 combo Shakespeare I mean you know I just straight up and by the way look at this I mean like I mean I don't know if you know this folks but you know that's a little heavy to reel and it's a freshwater reel not all of us can go out and pay the you know $700 it is to get yourself a nice you know saltwater reel made designed all that other stuff for salt water and even when you do you encounter issues I mean you know lots of things that they ain't, you know that they ain't doing but you can go down and get yourself a $15 reel and before you even use it do anything like that with it open it up because when it comes from the factory they haven't taken the time to give it a real good lubrication or yeah, or even put a quality lubricant in it. Now, the silicone only goes so far. It protects, you know, basically a surface sort of thing. But the next product that I'm talking about 
is some sort of Teflon dry lubricant. Now, this one's for bike chains because they've been, you know, trying to race and make things last and not rust and, you know, all that stuff out in the environment. And they're just everywhere. So, what you do, if your reel's a little gummed up, what you do, you take a little of this dry lubricant, put it on there. Whoa! All of a sudden, that Teflon, that dry, they call it a dry lubricant, but it's a, um, it, it's got a solvent in there. Now this solvent, you don't want to get all over your paint and everything, but you do want to put it on your shaft right here and let it dry. And it'll break up things and lift them off of it and everything like that, and it'll probably get down there and, and lift some of that original oil out of it. And I sit here and I do that. Now all of a sudden, instead of it being Mm, hard to spin. Mm. One little bit done fixed your reel, or it saved you while you're out on the water that having to take your reel apart and all that other stuff. Because this dries in a micro thin layer across your parts. What you can also do is before or whatever before you take your reel out in there, you put it on that little roller bearing right there. Now what that does is stop you from gaining the friction that's there when that fish is taken out that drag. Because you'll build up a heat on there and you might not realize it, and especially with mono. Mono is a big deal. I mean, that is a big deal. People will, oh, my drag, blah, blah, blah. And you need to pay attention to your roller bearing. You can take it apart by taking the screw off there and pulling it out. I'm not going to do that in the interest of time, but you know how to use the screwdriver. Please do it. And what you do is you put that dry lubricant on it. And, you know, I also, and actually, to keep things, you know, cool and smooth, to keep, you know, counteract some of the negative effects of buying a cheap reel, but you can turn a cheap reel into a hundred dollar reel real easy with some seven dollar lubricant. Fairly inexpensive. What's it say? Seven ninety nine right here on the thing. This will last you for hundreds of cleanings and all sorts of other stuff. Because eventually you might need to clean it. See but seven ninety nine David's World Cycle. Have a nice day. You know what I mean? Here. This this Teflon dry lubricant will dry and it will coat it with a very very thin layer of Teflon. Now it's going to dry so you could have other things cake on top of it or build up if you know if you're not careful but after it dries if I can get this thing there you go if I can get that back on now what it does is stops everything from sticking like that. And what may have been a choppy drag or something that was, <laughs> like that before is now going to be very smooth because it slides right aco across the parts that need that thing to slide across it. Look at that. And I mean, that was some gummy, gummy stuff before, man. What was it, a couple drops? Bam. Problem solved. I've also got needle bearings and all sorts of stuff inside your reel. And what we're going to do there is do something simple. Just unscrew this little thing. Although I really do hate messing with it. I don't want to lose a part while I'm showing you. But we're going to take that off of there, right? because this stuff gets into every single little crack and crevice. I mean, you would have to have it some serious, better than watertight stuff to have it not get in there, really. That's why I'm wearing gloves, because it will soak into your pores, it'll do all that other stuff. Won't do all that much damage, but hey, you know, just 
keep me from getting sued or whatever, that I use that and then I'll give it a turn just to make sure that, you know, if there was slop anywhere or whatever, you know, that it actually got in there. I'll, cotton, you know, pull out the pull out the reel a little bit. I might even do it to both sides. Be like, okay, both sides. Now, you're gonna say, really? What the? Hell? That was freaking magic. I didn't even have to. I didn't even have to take that reel apart, which you should. But I'm not gonna show you how to do it. I mean, you know, you ought to learn on your own. But I'm showing you some products that if you do know how to do this on your own will improve and you're not going to hardly have you know all you'll have to do is spray this down after you after you use it take some hot water right or medium warm water so it dissolves the salt faster and look at that this is a cheap fifteen dollar reel cheap $15 rod. This is the rod I was using to catch some tarpon on. I didn't have no problem. No failures, no nothing. You reduce the friction, you seal out that salt and that corrosion with a couple of simple products. And look at that. Look at that. Magic. Let's say you're out on the water and your reel starts to seize up someplace because you obviously forgot to wash it and maintain it and do all that other stuff. All you have to do, use a little bit of this. Now, also, you know, don't forget about your lures and your hooks. Because let's say you're using circle hooks, you've got worm hooks or something that, you know, the fish is going to possibly sit a little bit and try and smell. This is food grade silicone. It has no smell. It has no taste whatsoever. But what it does is seals out that salt water and will maintain that $7 package, $3, $5 package of uh, hooks, your lure your spoons, your whatever. I mean, you know, look, very pretty, very shiny. Helps it shine a little bit better too, as a matter of fact. Which, that reflective surface, you know, I don't know if you guys can see, see it reflect the color, that little rainbow on there, boom, 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 boom. These products are amazing things. Everything that you can do to maintain your equipment, to make it work better, improve your castability. Let's say you're using braid or monofilament. You know what you do? You spray this directly on the line. Spray this directly on the line. It has no smell. It doesn't degrade the material. It doesn't degrade the plastic. It doesn't degrade the the um oh whatever the polymer you know braided lines whatever the heck that thing is you know whether it's nylon or some advanced kevlar or something like that you can spray this directly on it and it's going to put a light coating of a lubricant right across it it's going to be water resistant your line might float for a second on top of the water because the water um what do they call that uh surface tension that's fine. This lure will break that surface tension the first time you crank it down. But it's also, even underwater, going to help you resist a lot of that abrasion when you're going across barnacles and stuff. Lubricants. Very important part of fishing that nobody uses. Spray this on your eyes. Not only is it good on your line, but when you're silicone lubricated line goes through your silicone lubricated eyes and help them if they're porcelain you know what I mean you know this is gonna help you if you get rust in your you know around your eyes around your $50 porcelain eyes spray this when you buy the rod spray this on your eyes 
and stuff like that and maintain every once in a while because it's food grade it will rub off it will you know it will disappear at some point in time but to maintain your stuff maintain your tackle maintain all that stuff food grade silicone and go down to the bike store and look for finish line dry lubricant and then once you've lubricated your stuff with this dry lubricant finish line also makes something like this for your internal gears which we didn't get into but this goes a long way you only need a little bit if not it's, it's too much when they put that heavy grease on the inside of your reel that only sits in one spot or then gets pushed away and all that other stuff this does not do that this doesn't leave the area it coats it with a nice thin coating and that's all you need with a Teflon it says extreme riding conditions well this is some extreme stuff guys it will extremely improve the longevity of your tackle of your gear of your rods of your lures of your hooks which I've had in salt water abuse the heck out of them and you know what look at it Do you know how old this lure is huh it's a couple years old but you know also as the you know caveat at the end you know wear gloves because some of this stuff man you don't want to get on your skin especially the Teflon here because that coats everything and you don't want and you don't want to get this on your lures but if you spray this on here you're gonna protect because it doesn't have a smell now this you don't want to get on your hands or you don't want to get on anything while you're out on the water so you need to make sure because this does have a smell and it has a taste not good and it will totally totally throw things off but when it dries that taste goes away that smell goes away and right there there you have it there's a couple of little tips from a real fisherman from real to me to you and you know if you got your old let's say your old reels that you kind of like you know what I mean I mean this one I don't know if anybody knows yeah it's just a quantum you know what I mean Zebco Zebco doesn't make this one this one take your hmm. Come on now. Take your... Dang it! Okay. My hands are slippery and I can't push this thing down. Okay. Now, let's see. Can we get this to open? Fellas. I can't... I sprayed it before with the dang lubricant. And... Okay. Finally, you got to get a little bit of a grip on it. You take your take your side plate off. You can take your spool out. Do that, boom, like that. And you take your lubricant and you put it down in here and put it all over your gears and everything like that, because that's why they make it like that. And you slide your your spool back in. Without getting all the line, you should put a piece of tape around this, by the way, just but you know. Put it back in. You put it on your pinion here. Not a pin, it's not a pinion, it's a I guess it's a it's an axle. But then you lubricate in here where this little thing rides in its uh you know seat. Then you put it back on. Make sure it's all tight. Lock it back down. And just as good as it worked on this other $15 reel, 
it's going to work three times as good on your $120 reel or whatever this was back in the day. This reel I've had for a very, very long time because I maintain it. I paid for it. I maintain it. I like it. It's a reel that I don't actually even use very often because I like it so much that it, and when I break this out, it means I mean business. But I've had this since they probably came out with the dang things. Because I said, ah, now that's a design right there. But I've spent plenty of, plenty of time keeping it maintained doing what I needed to do to make sure that I was ready to go out there and slay those fish. I spray my rods with the silicone lubricant. I even spray my braids with that silicone. Don't get this Teflon thing in there on your line. Don't go crazy because that's got actually solvents in it. This does not have the solvents or not the kind of solvents that would make a difference. So when you spray your stuff, use the food grade. When you start getting into the guts of your machines, of your tools, once again, pretty cheap, works just as good as TriFlow.